Hey, everyone. Okay. Hey, everyone. I figured I'd start a couple minutes early so that if you have the advertisement, you could be watching the advertisement while I am getting everything set up. Um, so it is date night. Hooray! Crooked date night once again. And we are going to be starting something really fun. Um, we're doing a week of 3D projects. And we're going to be doing it on the Cricut Maker using um, the scoring wheel Ooh. Um, and some just a few sheets of cardstock and and show you how to put these things together. I love 3D anything. So I was super excited to see that there are, in addition to this heart, which is what we're going to be doing tonight, there are... Um, a bunch of new 3D projects in design space and also um, quite a few blooms like uh, flowers. So there is the 3D chrysanthemum and the lotus blossom and a fan palm, a palm I don't know if I'd call it a fan palm. Maybe that is the actual name. Sunflower and a tulip. But also we've got a beautiful 3D fox, an owl, um, this whale's tail, and this heart, plus some smaller things. I don't know if this is supposed to be a diamond. It doesn't look like a diamond to me, but I might have to put that together just to see how it how it comes out but there's also these crystals which are pretty cool and i could see these um cut out of maybe like um that neon holographic paper and strung from from a ceiling i think that would look really interesting so i hope you are here good evening thank you diane hi nanette so here's what i wanted to tell everybody um uh, is that I put a little video out this afternoon to explain that today was the last day. I think it's at midnight. Today is the last day that we are going to be um, we're going to be able to put your name in for the bundle of joy in July. Um, and it's been going on for two weeks. So I did a little video and then I asked everybody when they came on to say hi to me and tell me where they're from. And I am going to Sharon. Sharon Rubinick is sizzling here in Lady Lake, Florida. <laughs> Lady Lake, Florida. That's what a neat place. Hi, Dawn, Aledra. Hi, everyone. So I'm going to keep an eye out for all of these um, all of these names. So I want you to say hi to me. And at the end of the program, we are going to choose one winner. It's going to just be random of somebody that I saw who said hello. Um, and and it will be for a prize, a $50 prize. Hi, Tanya. Um, hi, Sandra. Oh, Shirley, San Antonio. So many Floridians. Yes, well, they're all probably in uh, being, you know, staying cool. Um, yes, you are in up, Upper Coverdale. I always want to call that Cloverdale Dale. Uh, Dawn. So tonight's kind of interesting because my neighbors, having been through the pandemic just like all of us, decided they were going to have a rock concert two, three doors down. I think it's three, do three doors down. And they actually uh, converted their backyard into a little stadium and uh, they have a rock band playing. They started about an hour ago. They're on a a break right now, but there are people lined up all along the street and people sort of streaming down the street. So um, here I am thinking that we are probably the most interesting thing that happens on a Saturday night on the 
this street, but I cannot compete with it. <laughs> I cannot compete with the rock band. So they'll start up uh, again soon. So yeah, it's fun. And hey, I, I have to smile because boy, you know, we're all just tired and, and having a nice like outdoor venue, people can sit down, bring their chairs or whatever, and um, sort of just relax and, and enjoy some really hard rock music. Um, so is is really kind of fun. So anyway, um, yes, so keep telling me yeah, we don't have any COVID restrictions anymore here um, that I know of, although there is some worry about the Delta variants, which uh, most most Massachusetts Bay Staters, that's what they call us, most people from Massachusetts, I think there's like a 75% um, vaccination rate, which is very high in New England is very high. I don't know why it's so low in certain other states. So if you haven't been vaccinated, I'm going to do my public service. And if you can get vaccinated, do get vaccinated. Um, obviously, there are some people that cannot, and they're counting on you to um, bring us to herd immunity. Even the children who can't get vaccinated yet, they're counting on us to um, vaccinate. So, hi, Deborah Ann from East Berlin, Pennsylvania. <laughs> All right, so today we're going to be starting off a week of 3D uh, assembly, mostly I think just going to be paper products. We might use a little bit of vinyl here and there, but it's going to be 3D products. Most of them are going to be from Design Space, but I'm also going to introduce you to a couple of projects um, from a couple of different designers that you might like and sort of talk about uh, 3D as well. Because um, one of the my favorite designers named Mary over at um, SVG Cuts has been doing this sort of um I call them geometric like see how this has like a geometric they're all like the same color kind of of um triangles and then they're folded in in such a way some of them are mountain and some of them are valley and they're folded in such a way that it creates this this uh shape and this is actually you know two-sided it's a puffed heart um and and uh i did this first this is my first one that i did it was a little challenging but i tried to follow the directions the directions weren't that great to be honest they never really are i wish that they had little videos or something in there but um so that's what i'm here for though and i'm going to show you um i'm going to show you uh, how to put this one together. So the heart I figured would be easy because it's just one color. I know everybody wants to do the fox or the owl. And I thought to get started, we probably should do one that's just one color. But to sort of make it interesting, I thought that I would cut it on uh, glitter paper after my first one that I cut on the on the regular paper. And I want to talk you through the cutting part, but we're not going to actually cut the whole thing. I did ha actually cut out two versions. I cut out a nice pink glitter and a blue glitter, but I just want to kind of talk you through how you would go about um, printing the, or cutting this, okay? And so you would find this, first of all, if you were in design space and you were here on your canvas and you're looking, um, you're looking for this project, you would actually go over here. This is a place a lot of people don't visit. I don't know why, but it's, it's really a great place for inspiration. It's called projects. And when you click on there, there are all of these categories of projects. Now, please remember, if you have a Cricut Joy, and you are, have your machine set for joy, you are not going to see these projects because these projects are not available to cut on the joy. There's a lot of scoring involved. And for some reason, projects that are joy friendly 
um, or the projects that are not joy friendly aren't shown if you have your machine set to joy. But if you just want to see what's out there, go ahead and change your machine and you do that right up here. See, it says maker three and I'll just show you what I mean. If I switch this over to joy, you'll notice that all of those 3D except for these ones, which are actually smaller pieces show up. So um, if for tonight, if you are like playing around and you only have a joy, then go ahead and feel free to switch over to another machine so you can see all these wonderful projects. I do that all the time on my iPad. So, um, so I switch back and forth to see what's new on each one of the machines. Um, so anyway, these are pretty simple, actually. You just have to be able to follow the directions, which there aren't very good direction. So, so, you know, it might be challenging the first time, but all you need to do is find the, the, um, the project you want and you can click on it here. And I think it gives you different pictures of the heart here. Um, and it will tell you down here the description of, of what you'll need. So it says here you need four sheets of cardstock. They mean 12 by 12 inch cardstock. And then they recommend a light machine mat. I don't, I don't see why you would need that, but, uh, I use green or purple with all my paper because I just like it really sticky. And then they suggest the single scoring wheel. However, if you do not have a maker, because the maker is the only machine, there's two machines now, the maker and the maker three, but they're the only two machines that use the scoring wheel. And what is the scoring wheel? Well, it is this, it's part of the adaptive tool system. It has these little cogs here, and that matches up into the machine. This will not work on your Explore machine or your Joy machine. They only work on the makers, and this one here has a little, um, like a little push button here, and it allows you to remove the tip and add different tips, and that's going to be useful to us tonight. Um, and that is we're going to be, since we're cutting and scoring glitter paper, we're going to actually use the O2 scoring wheel. You see it's O2 because it has this these two sort of, uh, like almost creates a divot or like a rut, you know, a, the good kind of rut um, in your paper. And that is specially designed for paper like glitter paper that has a tendency to crack if you, um, if you score it with the O1 version, okay? So we're going to be using the O2 because we're using some glitter cardstock. Now, this particular project only allows us to make it. Um, it there is no customization. I don't know why that is. I did ask Cricut, um, but I haven't received a response back because they had Pioneer Day, which was uh, yesterday. It's a state holiday. So, um, so I'm sure I'll receive a response on Monday or Tuesday, but some of these are listed simply as make it. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and we're going to hit make it. And what will happen is it sorts all of the images, um, or the layers or whatever into mats. And this is a four mat. It is the, O2 is the double score wheel. Yes. And then there, yes, Pioneer Day in Utah. I wonder if Holly Hold is on tonight, but she could probably explain it better. But um, in Utah, they have an annual uh, celebration called Pioneer Day. And that's when I believe all the Mormons came and settled in Utah and created that state. Uh, if you want to probably look it up, under Wikipedia. It is called Pioneer Day, and it's just sort of a celebration of um, the Mormon tradition and Utah culture. It's really kind of fun. It sounds like a fun thing. So um, anyway, so this is a project that is going to cut on four sheets of paper. You will need the 12 by 12 inch paper, but there 
the pieces will not use all of the 12 by 12. So I just, after I cut this out, I just saved the scraps on the end. What's interesting about the heart is that there are two, really just two pieces that are duplicated. So there's four pieces total, but if you look, this is mat one and mat three are exactly the same and mat two and mat four are exactly the same. The only thing that's different are the numbers that are listed. So see here on each, I don't know if I can get closer to show you, but um, each of these triangles where the scoring is going to happen have numbers and these numbers are going to match up with another number some of them are on that piece and some of them are not on the piece okay so um it's really important that you have a pen handy and that you plop it into your machine so let's go ahead and hit continue and i'm going to choose um glitter paper because that's what i'm going to use glitter cardstock and I'm going to move you down there. There is not, to my knowledge, how to do the scoring stylus deeper, at least not on this kind of project. And I hear you, um, and it's it's a frustration, but I I don't know how to um, how to resolve it. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, so here's I got a brand new mat here, and. I've got some glitter cardstock, some purple glitter cardstock, really pretty. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to actually flip it over and I'm going to put in, put my um, glitter cardstock on with the fancy side facing the mat. Now, it depends on the glitter cardstock that you use. But it might have, you might have a little difficulty, and that's why I used a brand new mat. But you might have a little difficulty with it staying on your mat and not moving around. So I'm just going to bring in some masking tape because um, I find it very useful, particularly for this project, because we're cutting it with the glitter side down and it doesn't stick nearly as well as if you cut it on the plain side, right? And even though I'm using a brand new mat, I will have problems. So I just want to prevent those problems from happening because these are pretty big files and you don't want to have to redo them. I actually, when I first cut this out, um, I did have a couple of them uh, jam my machine. It wasn't the machine's fault. It was just that the paper kind of lifted. So I wanted to make sure that this is a brand new mat and that I am taping it down in all, um, like basically all four sides. Now this is uh, just plain old masking tape. You can buy rolls and rolls of it for like less than 10 bucks on Amazon or at the hardware store. It comes in really it comes in hand really useful uh for using your Cricut whether you're using thicker materials such as like craft board or you're cutting wood um or you're using like an acrylic base um or sometimes if my mats are kind of you know no more sticky and I don't feel like what washing them which I never feel like washing them um I will just use the the um masking tape just sort of as an assurance now this is going to start off doing scoring first always 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 the machines will score first and then they do writing and then they do cutting so before we actually get started we're going to set up this machine we have just a plain old pen it doesn't really matter what pen you use as long as it's reliable this is one of my original um 0.4 black pen I you know I, I these things last forever this has probably been around kicking around for a couple of years so we're going to open up um this is clamp a and we're going to uh, pop in the the pan and we do support the bottom here and then click it down you see that there is a little arrow here 
okay? And so we want for, um, for this to click down almost so that you cannot see the arrow. And then we had to close it. Then we're going to open clamp B and take out our blade with the housing. And we'll just put that aside. We're gonna need it eventually. And then we're going to put in the scoring wheel with the double point. I will point out that the scoring wheel comes in the single and the double point. And here is my is this my single? The single one has 01 on it, and the double has 02, so you can tell them apart. And they are not sharp. Some of these others are pretty sharp, like the perforation and the wavy blade. Um, so they're really sharp, and so try not to run your fingers over it, except, and look at this really pointy. That's the um, engraving blade, which we're going to work with... Uh, in two weeks, okay? And so now I have my mat all set up and my uh, scoring set up, plus I have my pen in there. All I need to do is choose glitter cardstock, which I've already done, and I am going to, let me make sure that I have this in view. I'm going to just load my mat, and when it's adjusted. I just need to press the button that is a blinking arrow. So it takes a little bit of time sort of getting ready. And there you see that it is blinking. So we're gonna hit that button. And again, it's going to do the scoring first. And you'll notice that the scoring wheel, it like makes all kinds of funny little noises getting ready to do the scoring. And what's going to happen is the scoring is going to be this double line scoring. Now this is perfect because um, not only are we cutting and scoring on the wrong side and the and the writing as well but um we also this is how i would honestly recommend doing a 3d project with glitter anyway is to do it with the glitter side down if you're going to do scoring if that makes sense so you'll see here that it is scoring um and then it will go straight to writing and then then it will stop and tell me to put in the cutting blade so it's almost done with scoring Let's wait so you can see how it it goes from one to the other. Now, the, the pen's real important in this project because let me just show you up front. So see, this is one piece and there are all the score lines, but you'll see that there's like a four and then a matching four, three, matching three. Now it's gonna start the writing. And that's what the, the pen is for. We're going to be able to match up the tabs on these pieces, okay? Now, there was something in the directions that said that there's going to be a start piece and an end piece, and I did find those. So this is supposed to be the piece we start with uh, because it has like the little, just like the button on the machine. And then this is the last piece we're gonna use because it is a square, okay? So, um, so we will start with that and move our way through all four pieces. Now it's done with the scoring and the writing. I'm going to just gently take out my scoring wheel and put in my, um, blade. If you have a scoring stylus, that's okay. What you will need to do though is swap out a scoring stylus for the pen. You wouldn't actually take out your um, your blade. You are going to put your scoring stylus, and if you don't know what a scoring stylus is, it is this. It looks like a pen, it has a kind of a pointy tip, and it goes in the same place as the pen does. So, um, so you'll have to um, swap those out for the pieces, but you won't have to swap out your housing and blade, okay, if that makes sense. And the, the scoring stylus is is acceptable. It's not the best. Whoa, look at that. You see that? 
<laughs> it kind of lifted up. All right, so here we go. There is our piece. And um, I don't have to, this is a brand new mat. And look, it's hardly even sticking because it's just not sticky. I don't know why I would never have chosen the light grip. I don't know. So anyway, you probably want to keep these little scraps of, um, of glitter that you have left over. And here it is. This kind of got a little ripped, but that's okay. We're gonna, we'll just glue that little part in there. So let me bring you down to um, the work station here. And just wanna move some of this stuff away so you, so you can see and it'd be nice and neat. So this is what the end result is going to be. Um, so, oh, who is that that's here? Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Um, okay, so if you're just coming on, do make sure you introduce yourself and say hello and where you're from because I am going to give a prize out at the end of the show, okay? So um, what we're going to do is we're going to take all four of these pieces. As I mentioned, there's four pieces, and I just want to show you what I mean. There are, there are two different types of pieces and it almost looks like a heart if you hold it up like this so these two are the same and these two are the same you see that and so we're going to start with the this one here that has that go okay so might as well do that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold at all of the score lines, which is what I've already done, but I want to just show you. You're going to fold this way. Now this is why we use the double score wheel and we put this on with facing the mat. You see how when you're when you're scored here and you're folding, there's no cracks. A lot of times if you are scoring on the right side or if you're using even the dashed cut lines that come with other projects, then um, you will have cracks in your paper. And this is a way to avoid those cracks or to keep them in at a minimum, okay? So we'll go ahead and you have to look real closely because right here is part that needs to be scored and right here needs to be scored. There are scores all over these pieces, so go ahead and score them all just like that. Once you have that done, you're going to need an adhesive. I have two that I love to use. This one is called Barely Art Precision Craft glue. I love this glue. It has a very fine tip and it works really, really well. But I also wanted to um, give a shout out to um, my other friend. It's our glitter glue. This is this was my favorite before I, I learned about this one. So um, either one will do. We're going to um, use liquid glue, although some people might try to use a glue gun. I'm not a big fan of glue guns. Um, so just if you want to try the glue gun and you love glue guns, then certainly go ahead and do it. So the first piece that we're going to work on, what we first need to do is we need to attach this here, see how it says 22 to 22, and then we also do 12 to 12, and then up here, I guess it's a 30, it looks like 3G, but or I guess it's 30 V. I'm not really sure what the V stands for, but on this particular piece, that's all we need to do. So let's go ahead and put some glue on this tab. And because I'm using um, the glitter paper, I thought I would try this this glue as well. It's a little runnier than um, the Barely Art glue, but it does have a tendency to stick better um, in, in a larger quantity. That makes sense to you. <laughs> It makes sense to me, but um, so here we are. We're going to try that out, and I'm hoping that it's not going to, you know, make me look like a liar because, yeah, it's making me look like a liar. It looks like it's very wet, so let's try instead our barely art glue. Oh, well, you know, 
we can't all be perfect. This is actually coming out fairly thin and, uh, and I don't really like that. I don't know why it's coming out so thin, but well, it might have something to do with, yeah, it has something to do with the fact that I cleaned my tips yesterday and hope I didn't get too much, uh, too much water in the tip or something. Maybe that's what happened. So, um, so here's what I'm doing. I'm gluing the 22 and the 12 together. That's creating on the back, just so you can see it's creating this sort of roundedness of the heart. What am I gonna do if the glue doesn't stick? Oh, we're gonna not be having a good night if that's the case. Hmm, let me try putting some on here. Well, maybe that's, that's better, okay. So, um, hmm, that's really weird. Okay, so just need to give it a, a sort of hold there or on the inside, it's up to you what you want to do. I want to see how it looks on the outside because I don't want a lot of glue sort of spilling out there. The thing about using glue on paper, even on glitter paper, is you always are going to use less than you think you're going to need. So it does take a little bit of um, patience and experience with your glue so that it grabs it without being overly wet. I don't want it to be wet because look, it's starting to smear the inside. And even though I'm not going to see the inside, it's going to just take longer um, to dry. And so that's a bummer, but okay, we'll deal with it because you know what? We're professionals. This is what we do. And we just roll with the punches, okay? So there's there's our first piece done. We're going to put it aside. I want to make sure that it's really on there good. And we're going to start with the next piece. And the next piece, it does not have this stop uh, sign on there. This is the um, next piece. It's just very similar to this one. In fact, it might actually be the same one, make sure that it is folded on all of the score lines. Here's, how, here's one that doesn't look too, too folded. Let's see, here we go, right there. So there are a lot of score lines here, so make sure you're finding all of them. And most of the, um, most of the inside uh, triangles are about the same. The ones on the side are not. They're slightly smaller. So it, it use that as a visual, okay? So we're going to close up the heart this way and then do it here. So it's just like that. Let's try it with the glue. And again, I think these are going to get harder as um, you introduce different colors and different shapes. A heart is a good one to start with because um, it's pretty, you know, balanced. I can hear my guinea pigs. Yeah, is this the first Saturday night that they've been? I think it's the first Saturday night that they've been here for date night. And they get loud at night, the guinea pigs. They have little parties. So, here we go. The glue is still kind of runny, which is really making me nervous. So I hope this does go together okay. Maybe by the time I get to putting all four pieces together. It won't be so nearly as runny. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so this is just creates a curve in the heart. You see there's so much glue here. Don't do this. <laughs> don't do this. There I was trying to make my life easier by cleaning the tips on my, on my glue and I should know not to ever try to be organized. Organized. <laughs> Who needs organization in the craft room, right? No, it's about creativity. So we have to uh, avoid organization. <laughs> All right. 
So I think that's going to stay. So let's put that there. Creates like kind of a cup shape. And the next one does not have the stop. And it's the same thing. Make sure you've got all of your folds done. I don't. So here we go. Fold, fold, fold. And glue on these two tabs and then here. So they're four very similar uh, sides. Two of the left and two of the right side, I guess. On Monday, we'll be doing uh, one of the flowers. And then I'll set up the schedule for the rest of the week. Uh, on Sunday. Also on Sunday, what I'll be doing is picking the winner of my um, July Bundle of Joy. That is a joy machine plus all the stuff you need to get started with your machine and uh, that, you know, like insert card and card mat, a couple of pens, some vinyl, some uh, iron on so you can open it up and just get started. It's a really fun machine. If you haven't seen it before, I really love it. And um, it's super. And so I decided that I was going to give several of them away this, this year. And so we started in April and we've been giving away uh, one a month. Actually, in April, we gave away two. And we've been uh, giving away one a month in we gave away one a month in May June and now this is July we'll probably do this again in August September and I'm not sure about October I might be switching over to the mug press in October uh, because I know that that's something that you all are very interested in it's a cool it's a cool machine I really do like that machine yeah, so I'm having a little trouble with this glue, which is really mm, frustrating, but we will persevere. We will press on. Get it? Press on. I just hope it's going to work when we go to, uh, when we go to put the whole thing together. Okay, so the same thing happens here. This is our last piece. So we're going to glue these two tabs to create that um, bent or the puffed part of the heart. There we go. Hey, this kind of matches my nail polish. Kind of cool. And here... So it's really nerve wracking when your glue is not working the way that you normally, it normally is. Well, you know what, you guys are getting the idea, so you'll know. And whatever you do, just don't clean your glue tips before you try to do this because you might get, I don't know, one or two drops of, of water in there and then you'll be in the same predicament I'm in here. Yeah, it's definitely watery, watery, much watery, yeah. Okay, so let's just give that a little bit of time. What, do I have another one here that, this one here might work. Let me check this out, seems thicker. Hmm. right so my glue it, this is constant struggle of keeping your glue um from from gluing closed and so you use these little pins every every time try to keep it uh try to keep it flowing um and so one of the things that i recommend hey clean your tips once in a while but uh, didn't really have much luck with that, with this uh, bottle that I have. So I figure I'll try this one, see if that works. 
No, and now I can't get this one to flow. Uh, let's try this one. This one is very watery. So we're going to stick with our Barely Art glue. All right. So now that we have all four pieces together, we're going to start with the one that has that stop, um, that start line, right? And then we're going to look for the matching one, which happens to be the one I did second. And I'm looking for a match on this. So here's the 13 and here's the upside down 13. So it's going to go together like this. And you'll notice that it goes like, um, a tab and no tab, a tab and no tab on either side and it's opposite. So this is going to be easy to put together because we're just going to glue these three tabs together. You see this one, this one, and this one. Thirteen. Lucky thirteen. <laughs> so I'm surprised that my um my concert friends haven't restarted. They couldn't possibly be done. I mean it they only started like an hour ago. Or well, maybe they were playing longer, I don't know. But I think they were having a good time. All right, so we're going to sort of move along. Hopefully our glue will um, cooperate. And we are putting together this heart, believe it or not, just by choosing these two pieces that align. All right, oh, here's Teddy Bear. Hi, Teddy Bear. This is where I would use a glue gun if I, if I had my glue gun around, but I don't. It's on the other side. Okay. Just going to give it a little bit more time. And ah! All right. It's going to be one of those nights, is it? One of those nights. All right. Hi, Teddy. Oh. He's he's singing me the song of his people. What, Teddy? What? Oh, it's okay, honey. I don't know. Something's wrong. Something's bothering him. What, Teddy? I cannot pat you right now. I wish that. I wish I had four hands, but I can't. I can't do it. Here, come over here. Good boy. All right, all right, you. Okay, so here I am trying to get this tab in. And it is going to go into a mount, no, a valley fold. You know what a valley fold is? It's the opposite of a mountain fold. Ha <laughs> ha, ta da ta. No, a valley fold is, it's exactly the opposite. So here's a mountain fold. It faces up like a mountain, and then a valley fold makes a V. Um, and that's what's happening here, is that this is the part of the heart that is going to go in like a valley. But sadly, my glue is taking forever to dry. This is why I get the big bucks, folks, because I I can work in these conditions. I don't have to worry. I am capable of rolling with the punches, and that I always end up with punches, don't I? Oh well. Okay, so let's go ahead and put a little bit more glue here. All right, so do you see what we've created? Half of a heart right here. All right, now uh, I have had similar experiences with these kinds of 3D things and one of them was this pumpkin from SVG Cuts. I don't know if you guys remember that pumpkin. It was just a 
gorgeous big pumpkin that um that I made oh I must have made a half a dozen of them they're so huge but they are challenging to put together because there's all of these like ribs and uh it's really a challenge so you just need to be patient with the process okay So I guess I'll just see all the people here. Sherry from <gasps> Butte, Montana. That's awesome. Tammy Sharp, Christine, Lisa, Shirley. Yep, I saw Shirley earlier. Nikki Hoffman, Melissa. The V needs to be folded the other way. Valley. Yeah, probably. You mean the V down here? Uh, I wish that I oh I see Melissa you're so smart okay so the V's the things that are V's are supposed to be valley folds is that funny so that's what this ends up being, a V for valley fold. Sadly, my glue isn't even sticking, whether it's in mountain or valley. So, how do you like that? All right. So, the V stands for valley. So then this one has to be valley as well. Sadly, why is this not catching? <gasps> Someone sabotaged me, I think. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, let's go with the next piece. So this is the third piece and we're going to look to um, set it up and yes let's just make sure that our valleys are really and truly valleys like this on the outside so this is a valley and that's a valley is there any other on this side no okay so we're looking to uh, line up this piece with one of these pieces so i'm looking for yep there's the 28 so see there's the 28 right here and then we've got i've got it actually backwards i think because 28 is supposed to go to 18. oh no it's going to go this way all right so here we go sorry folks Here we go. I'm really struggling with this glue today. So maybe I'm going to take it back about the, the, <laughs> the hot glue gun. Because if I had a hot glue gun, this would be so much faster and easier. I mean, I wouldn't have the opportunity to move things around as, as I'm doing here. But still, it would set real quick and I wouldn't have to be standing here holding it all this time. I'm afraid to let go. There we go. It's okay, buddy. You think that there was like fireworks or something. Okay. All right, so you see how I want to turn it around so you can see this. So now this is going to go like this around on that heart if I can get this part to stay. Oh, man. Okay. Patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. Oh. 
I try to test everything right before I come on, but duh, I didn't even think to test my glue. I'm a goober. Okay, maybe that's on there good. I don't know. So then we're going to, hopefully, if that's on there well, we're going to turn it like this and we're going to glue it up this way. Does that make sense? Okay, I hope that I am showing you a good view. So here I'm holding this in. Hey, 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 hello, you. Nope, nope, nope. I have a squirt gun now, guys. So I can give them a little squirt when they start barking. You know who's a terrible barker is Lola. First she was like quiet as a mouse and so refined. And now she is a super noise maker. Like not only does she bark a lot and her bark is high pitched because she's a lady, but also, um, she just does just this thing where she kind of like is just mumbling. Like she's like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Like showing her displeasure. It's, it's so bizarre. I haven't had a corgi that has ever done that. But she is, I think she's used to being in charge and, you know, commenting on everything and sometimes she's just not happy. I am not getting the food into her quick enough or I'm not taking her out for a walk quick enough or whatever. And she lets me know. Disapproval. It's corgi disapproval. Well, if this ever goes together right, it is going to look stunning. I wonder what you'd use it for, though. You know, like, is it just, like, kind of a conversation piece that you'd put, like, on your dining room table? Or maybe hang it? Maybe hang it? I don't know. What would you guys use it for? So, this is frustrating. Thank you for putting up with me. See, I make these mistakes so that you don't have to. It needs to be folded the other way. Yeah. Did I not do that? Or maybe I'm just not... Hot glue. Yeah, I know. Now, I know that a couple people tried do it, doing um, these before tonight. So, um, I think you could hang them up. I don't think that... So, this glue is called uh, Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. And you can buy it on Amazon. There's actually a bundle that is a good one. It comes with this, which is the full, like, gives you an 11-ounce refill. And it gives you two different tips. Actually, three. One that you're supposed to use for closing. And then the pin to keep the, the tip from getting clogged. And so normally the problem is that the tip gets clogged. Um... Not that the that the uh, glue is thinned. This is definitely coming out thinner because I went yesterday. I thought I was being so smart, and I went and um, cleaned out my glue tips, thinking, "Ah, oh, I'll have it all ready for tomorrow," and feeling all full of myself. And then this happened. So. Don't clean your tips. <laughs> um, anyway, you could also use regular glue. Um, I like this glue especially for this 
very, very fine ultra tip because it is, um, it's great for when we're working on those sort of lace pieces like we did yesterday. Yesterday we finished up our Christmas in July event, um, which we ran for two weeks and we did something that was like this oversized box card that had this beautiful like lacy snowflake on the top and that was perfect uh, to use this with because then you didn't get glue all over the place. Maybe for this this sort of uh, more 3D type effect, I think it's starting to hold, um, a thicker glue might be better. So maybe like an Aileen's Tacky Glue, now that I'm thinking about it, um, might be a good option. Maybe I'll try the next one with a Tacky Glue because it's tacky and, um, and so hopefully it will it will grip faster. I definitely would use a tacky or glue for this. So if you have the Aileen's in the brown bottle, which I do have, but of course it's not handy, um, then I would try that. But this is working. It's just taking a lot longer than I expected it to. Partly because of the glue, but the other part is, and I need to be honest about it, the other part is that it is glitter paper. Glitter paper can be a bit of a bear to glue, okay? But do you see what I'm doing? I'm working on the outside, but basically I am lining it up, and now it's bringing up this third piece. I don't like the way that this is coming out, but considering, I guess I'm going to have to live with it. So when you do it, maybe try tacky or glue. There's also a scotch glue that you can buy at Michael's. It's called Fast Tat. No, it might be just be called Paper Glue, and it's a uh, Scotch brand. It has a red and a white label. And let's be frank, probably Elmer's glue would work here too. Um, and because it's fairly thick, but you have to stay away from using too much of it. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, you know, they can't all be winner ideas. <laughs> I can't wait to do the flowers because I am kind of a flower fanatic. Um, but you see how it's coming out? I think it's going to look real cute. Um, once I can get these, these attached. Now there is someone, uh, I don't know if you guys know Babs. Have you seen Babs lately? Babs, who is just an all around really crafty person. She would tell you, um, that maybe what you need to use here are like those quilt, uh, those quilting sort of, they're like pincers that you can just kind of hold these together, which is what I'm doing with my hand. So, um, yeah. How come this should not take that much of a problem? All right, and then the final piece we'll put on. All right, I'm missing. Maybe while I am waiting um, to, 
to uh, to get this to glue together before we do the final piece, we'll do the giveaway. So let me just talk a little bit about giveaways in general so that you can understand. So uh, every month I do giveaways. Um, I used to do them in different ways, but this way that we've been doing it is that uh, once a month we give away a big prize. We usually run it for a couple of weeks, and so you can get your name in multiple times, increasing your odds of winning. And um, so there's that. And that takes up half of my budget that of giveaways. So then I we then have a monthly Zoom call which you may or may not have seen um but we do have this Zoom call that we kind of get together and chit chat about um just about crafts and things and the last time the folks that were on the Zoom call were there for hours i mean i like like six hours i only stayed for like an hour and a half but they stayed for quite a bit longer and had a good time and that's the great thing about this group is that you get to meet people and and like hang out with people that maybe you would never have met in real life so um so that's cool but anyway during the zoom call we give away um we usually have two prizes and we have a theme for some thing so if someone brought like the last time i think we did the most challenging project or the project that they were most proud of and so we had two winners and that was uh lisa webster who did this really cool like um, acrylic stand with a cutie etched into it. That was pretty cool. And um, I think it was Christine that won. And so that was pretty cool. So we do that. And then two prizes, and they're worth $50 each. So two prizes go to those people that are part of the zoom call and then two prizes go to people who are oh, this is just coming apart now people who are um supporting me either on facebook or on patreon which you can do and i encourage you if you find value in seeing how i flub up projects like this one um <laughs> um that you can support me through Patreon, which is a website where you like basically pledge a monthly pledge of like five dollars or more if you want to do more. And um, and every month at the beginning of the month, they will charge your whatever your card or your PayPal, I guess, for the five dollars. And I get that money to support my craft habit and support you and do these videos so that we can do these videos um so things like supplies because there's only so much i get from cricket so when we do things like rhinestones and stuff like that um alcohol inks uh, fabrics and things like that um, it, we use, we use that, I use that money to help come up with different ideas for the show. And then of course the stars, you can also, um, give me stars and that's, that's a nice thing too. Um, and those are a little more like of an impulsive thing. And then if you just want to support me by buying stuff and, <laughs> And using my affiliate links, you can do that as well. So that is every month. Every month we give away five prizes. One big one and four small ones. And so it's pretty easy to win a prize. Stay. It's getting there, folks. Thank you for your patience. So, 
I want to just see where the valleys are here. Because did I do... I am not going to take something off. But this is supposed to be a valley, right? Valley right here. And a valley. That's a valley, right? Or is it this way? Mm -mm. Valley right there. Okay. Valley right here. There we go. I see it. My heart is coming together. Be still, my heart. Okay. So so then um, we have an extra... Uh, I have an extra prize that I'm going to give away tonight. And um, that's just at my discretion. So I decided that I was going to do that tonight. Now, we usually do that within the month. So if you won at the beginning of the month... Um, you don't have to worry. You'll get your prize, um, but it won't be until at the end of the month or at the beginning of the new month. So, um, be aware of that there. So, here we go. Damn, this is really challenging, but you see how this is coming together? It is. It truly is coming together. But, as I said, definitely use tacky or glue. Okay. So, let's see. I'm going to pick a winner now. There's a lot of comments on here. Um... She did not learn, by the way, Lola, she came with that. She came with that. Um, okay. She came with that, that interesting thing. All right. So I'm looking at all the comments. Yeah, table piece, Valentine. Yeah, I think hanging it would be nice. Fill it with chocolate like a piñata. Somebody else said that. Was it Tara? I think it was Tara. I don't know if she's here. All right. Oops. Wow, so many chatty people tonight. I love it. I wish I could read them all. <laughs> I can't read them all. I'll read them all at the end or after I get done. Um, I think tonight's prize is going to go to one of my favorite people who tells me where she's from all the time. Um, it is Kathy from Idaho because every single time she's the only person I know that lives in Idaho um, except for a guy I knew very long time ago and I always thought it was such a strange place to live I, I don't mean to be insulting it at all but it was just like he he was in Massachusetts and he was from Idaho and I just thought I don't know why would you leave there what would bring you to Massachusetts or something but so Kathy from Idaho is our final winner for July. Well, really technically not. Um, technically not the last because we're going to then pick the winner. Hi. Hi, Desiree. How are you? I have to get your prize. I have a prize that I owe you. I need to send you in the mail. So, um, yeah, you think the glue's fine? I don't know, guys. The glue seemed real thin to me this time. So, it is glitter paper, and I didn't think. Eh, that's my problem. I don't think. But, um, we will just soldier on. We're soldiering on. But you can see how it is going together. And it's not terrible. But next time, tacky or glue, or maybe the glitter glue needs, maybe the glitter uh, paper was a bad idea. 
Could it have been a bad idea? Perhaps. Oh, well. I still get to spend the time with you. Hey, so Kathy, um, you need to send me an email, darling, uh, to Miss Rita to the rescue at gmail.com. And with your address, obviously, I know it's Idaho, but I don't have the zip code. So what's the abbreviation for Idaho anyway? ID? It's not IA because that's Iowa. Um, all right, we're almost done here. It's not the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> it's not the best thing I've ever done. But it is a thing. <laughs> oh, It's a damn good thing I can laugh at myself. You know that? Because if I couldn't, then I would just be a puddle. There's my mom. So finishing up the first week with my mom here. And that's been challenging. Because she has her dog. And her dog's kind of like old too. And he doesn't like listen. You know, he like, she thinks he's deaf. But I don't know if he's deaf or not. I just think he just doesn't care. And so um, he just sort of wanders around. And then of course they got the other three. And so they just sort of... Um, you know, they like kind of just walking around him. But mom's feeling better and she still has a wrapped up sleeve. Tomorrow we go to this really nice place that my sister found here locally that's like a um, senior housing. Like it's sort of, I don't want to call it like, uh, assisted living and it's definitely not a nursing home but it's like a private uh, apartment space where th you pay more but they do all your meals they feed you all your meals and they um they do your laundry they help with you know transportation and uh, make sure that you like getting to your doctor's appointments and they have activities. And so we're going for a tour tomorrow. Uh, and they're actually having a party. And I probably closed this up the, the wrong way, but oh well. I don't think it could get any worse. But, um, and the regular paper went together way smoother. So I do think that whoever said that about the uh, glitter paper is probably right. Maybe I should just get in here and do this. So, um, so wish us luck because if that works out, then she is going to move directly over there. It's in Beverly, which is uh, like two towns over. And it's a beautiful town, very good to their seniors. So this is definitely a valley fold. So that should be good for her. Um, and they have like a movie theater in the building and they have like a puzzle room. And I think the thing that's going to be good for her is that she doesn't have to cook. All she has to do is take care of her dog, you know, and, and, uh, so that should be a pretty cool thing. All right, folks, I'm almost done here, but I don't want for you to look at this and say, Oh, this is way too hard. I'm never going to be able to do it. I want you to look at it and say, well, I'm going to try it because Rita tried it and she was, you know, persevering. And that's kind of what I'm all about. I want you to sort of 
And I think whoever said is right about, you know, it is glitter paper. Maybe the reason why I had such a hard time was the glitter paper. But I do also think the glue was a little thin as well. So this is probably the best that this is going to look. Um, I might go back and do a little bit more gluing here. But um, at least maybe get thinking about trying this because it really is kind of fun when you start understanding the valleys like I didn't really understand that valley part until someone pointed it out to me but yeah see how these are valleys I mean it's not connected right now but this is a valley and on this side as well valley and then these others are mountain and it is puffy heart like this. So um, that is how to do it. And I really would probably caution you from using glitter <laughs> to try this. And I, maybe I will cut this out in um, paper again and try it again. Because I don't, I mean, I just did this yesterday. And I don't remember it being this difficult. So, so maybe it is with the glitter paper. Anyway, you guys know I'll try anything at least once. And I don't usually give up on anything. So, um, but I do think that this is sort of the best it's going to look. And, uh, oh well. <laughs> oh well. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for coming today. Congratulations to Kathy. And then definitely tune in on Monday when we have a um, announcement who won the July Bundle of Joy giveaway. Um, and let's see what else. And we're going to continue on with doing our 3D week, which includes the flowers. I think we'll do, I'm toying with chrysanthemum versus sunflower. I'll get to do both of them. But um, the next one of these that I try, I will do it in regular old cardstock so that it comes out looking like this rather than looking all messed up like this all right everyone thank you so much for coming i will read all the comments i love all the comments and i will read them all um after the show and i hope that you have a wonderful weekend we'll see you again hopefully on monday um and then don't forget to Get your name in. You can do that until midnight tonight, Eastern time, I believe. And uh, for the, because you could be the winner. I have not picked the winner yet. So your name could get picked, even if you're just putting it in for the first time tonight. And that's going to do it for me tonight. I will see you all on Monday. Take care. Hi, Rita's mom. Yes, yeah, she. She wants to, she's working on a puzzle now. I, what's nice is that I'm, I'm at, um, I'm on the porch. I'll actually give you a, a little sneak peek. She probably won't like that I've done that, but so I'm on a porch. And so this used to be an external porch and there she is right there. <laughs> she's working on, um, so this used to be external. And so these windows were here. So when we enclosed it, we just put these windows here, which is kind of dumb. But um, there she is working on her puzzle. Her It's her left hand. Uh, and she's just sitting there watching the Olympics and working on her puzzle. So um, so she's, she's doing much better. And I'm glad that I could uh, have her here, although her dog is kind of weird. <laughs> All right, everyone. Take care. We'll see you again on Monday. Bye.